You want to become a software developer, however, you're not quite sure which route to take. It could be the self-taught route, bootcamp, maybe a mixture of self-taught and bootcamp, or just the traditional way, college. Which one is the best? Well, it depends. It depends on several things. I'll go into some of them in this video, and hopefully, afterwards, you will be, it will be easier for you to make a decision which one is the best for you. Welcome back. I hope this finds you well. My name is Nathaniel and I'm a self-taught software developer. And I'm a self-taught software developer. A self-taught software developer. You might think since I'm a self-taught software developer, it is obvious that I would recommend a self-taught route. Well, not really. And later in this video, I'm going to tell you why. So there are three common ways people get into software development. It's either self-taught, bootcamp or college. Technically, we are all self-taught developers, whether you went to college or not. It's just that as a self-taught, you have to manage everything by yourself. While in bootcamp and in college, there are a lot of things that are already prepared for you, like a curriculum, learning resources, learning materials, and a community. The most suitable option for you depends on several factors. For example, your location, professional background, financial state, or your personality, learning style, or marital status. These things can have a significant impact on which route fits you best. In this video, I'm going to try to talk about the good and not so good things about these three options, and I'm going to try to identify individuals who are suitable for each route. Self-taught. The self-taught path offers flexibility. You are free to do anything. You can learn whatever you want, whenever you want, from wherever you want. You get to choose the project you want to work on and the skills you want to learn. And you don't have to spend a dime because there are plenty of free online resources on the internet. There are no deadlines, less pressure, except the ones you put on yourself. So you can start learning and take a break for a year and start learning again for a couple of months and take a break for another three years. It's all up to you. It's completely self-paced. Okay, let's go to the cons. <laughs> With great flexibility comes great responsibility. Since you're flexible, no deadlines, no pressure, somewhere down the road, somewhere down the line, laziness is gonna kick in. You're gonna get sluggish, you're gonna start postponing your study time, study hours. So let's be real. In the self-taught route, you are going to be driven by your motivation. That means you're most likely going to end up with a bunch of half-baked, unfinished projects laying around somewhere. You don't feel obligated to do them. You don't get paid for doing them either. So you might just end up hopping from one project to another. Another tough thing about self-thought is that you have to find a community and a mentor by yourself. Finding a mentor is very, very hard. In some cases, it's even harder than finding a job. All right, let's go to the bootcamp. One of the good thing about bootcamp is that you are in a controlled environment. You have a dedicated tutor, dedicated mentor that are tracking your progress, teaching you as much as possible. You're in a community of like-minded people and most of them are at the same level as you are. So this can create a positive group dynamic that can boost your motivation. Bootcamps are project driven. The goal is not only to equip you with the skills to line a job, but also to make sure that you have at least three or more real life projects after you graduate. In a bootcamp, you have a tailored uh, curriculum and bootcamps usually have the latest technologies in your portfolio. Bootcamps are not cheap, but they're affordable. Depending on your location, you can also get financial support from the government. Many bootcamps allow you to pay monthly so you don't have to pay for the entire thing at once. Some of them are even completely free until you graduate and land a job and then you can start uh, paying for the bootcamp. So let's look at some of the challenges you're going to be facing when you go to bootcamp. The word bootcamp already indicates what to expect. Just Google the word bootcamp and look at the images you're going to get. You will see people yelling at each other, rolling in mud, running, jumping, carrying heavy stuff. You're going to be experiencing something similar in a tech bootcamp. Of course, nobody's going to be yelling at you because you cannot declare variable. Well, I hope so. <laughs> but you get what I'm trying to say. It is not physically uh, demanding, but mentally. 
so mentally you're going to be heavily challenged. A boot camp will try to teach you something in three months that actually takes at least a year or two to learn. So it's short and intense, especially for people who are absolute beginners. All right, let's go to college. The good old college route is profoundly known for digging into low level computer science principles or programming principles. In college, you're most likely going to learn at least one low level program language like C, where you have to take care of resource management uh, manually. So for example, in Swift, we have something called ARC, uh, which stands for automatic reference counting. It's a tool that uh, Swift uses to manage and track your app memory usage. It frees your app from uh, class instances, have, uh, hence objects that are no longer needed by your app. I think in Java, it's called uh, garbage collection or something. So in college, you're going to know how to use these tools by managing them and building them by yourself. A good college can train you to become an engineer. You might not be familiar with the latest framework in college or with the latest libraries, but you will know the ins and outs of software and hardware. I didn't go to college, but I know and work with a lot of people, many people who studied computer science. So for example, someone told me about a project where they had to program a compiler from scratch. So simply put, a compiler is just a mediator between a higher program language and a lower program language. A bootcamp will most likely not teach you these things. There's just not enough time and space for that. So let's go to the downside of college. The not so good thing about college is that depending on which location you are, it can be very expensive. I think uh, we even don't have to go into that topic. Student loan is something that many people are familiar with, even without going to college. Another bad thing about colleges is that uh, their curriculum is out of date. Many colleges are still using tools that are almost a decade old. This is unacceptable in tech, especially in software development where things change uh, quickly. Another bad thing is that you will learn a lot of stuff that you will never have to use in real life in your job. And this is something that almost everybody I know who studied computer science told me. So that was uh, some of the pros and cons for each uh, for these three options. So who are they for? Self-taught is for those of you who doesn't have the financial capacity to go to boot camp or college. If you're living in an area where college is very expensive and you don't get enough support from the government, either for college or for boot camp, then I think self-taught is something for you. You should consider. I think self-taught is also for those of you who have a full-time job and want to learn programming on site. So maybe you cannot afford to go part-time or quit your job. Maybe you're married, you've got kids, and you have all the major financial commitments. Only a few people quit their job to go full-time boot camp or college. It's a risky move, but some have done it and it has worked for them. However, I wouldn't recommend quitting your job and going to boot camp or college. For the self-taught option, you have to be extremely self-disciplined and well-organized. You are on your own, nobody's checking on you. After a long day at work, going home and sitting down to learn programming it's not easy, so be prepared. Boot camps, who are they for? I think anybody who has the money to enroll in a boot camp should do it. Boot camps are also for people who have uh, some pre knowledge in whatever they want to enroll. Like I already mentioned previously, boot camp is a fast paced environment. So for you to shine in a boot camp, you should have at least uh, should be familiar with some of the basics of programming or whatever you want to do in the bootcamp. If you have the extra money or support from the government, go for a bootcamp. If you don't have anything that's highly time consuming like a full-time job, bootcamp can be something for you. Because for a bootcamp, you're gonna have to dedicate at least 15 to 25 hours per week that's almost like a part-time job. College. So if you've just graduated from high school, you don't have a job, you have a lot of time, maybe you're still living at your mama's house, or your parents or have the cash to pay your college bills, or maybe you get a lot of support from the government. Why not? Why not college? If I could turn back the hands of time, I think I would pick college over self-taught and bootcamp. Because uh, I'm a kind of person who likes to take their time to learn new stuff, especially when it's uh, very abstract uh, like programming. I don't want to rush because I'm not a fast learner, so I need time for things to sink in. 
looking how something works on the surface doesn't work well for me. So I need to go a little bit deeper and see how things work beneath. Uh, before things start to make sense to me. And here in Germany, uh, college is very affordable compared to other parts of the world. So if you are a person who likes to go deeper into a subject than just creating projects, I would recommend college. And uh, there are a lot of legit online college out there. So that's also for an option for who just want to do everything from their homes. Don't get me wrong, the things you learn in college can also be learned as a self-taught or a bootcamp graduate. At the end of the day, it depends on you. You have to take the extra time, which is very hard, and learn this in-depth computer science topic uh, that you might never have to use in a real-life project. Alright, so that's it for this video. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss something? Let me know in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Have a beautiful day. God bless.